Day 4 We continue our southwest adventure from Utah and now driving through the Monument Valley to Arizona. We were able to change our car in Utah from Toyota Tacoma to a Chevy Tahoe, which was so much better. Our drive was smooth, consisting mostly of red, clay and mountainous wonders with sparse green shrubs sprinkled around. But make no mistake, we were in a desert and in native land. We saw some evidence of civilization here and there, but it took a long while before we could find a gas station or rest area. It took us around 2 hours 37 minutes to arrive at the Monument Valley from Moab, Utah. Before you know it, we could see signs of the famous valley. This is the Monument Valley, also known as Sepin Siskai, home to the Navajo Nation. It is the most important Native American territory in the U.S. Navajo Nation runs its own personal judicial system and governance but still follows the legal guidance of the U.S. This jaw-dropping region borders the state of Utah and Arizona. At the time we visited the Monument Valley, access to any Navajo Nation site was closed to tourists due to COVID. As tourists, the most we could do was drive past these sites. However, there were a couple of shoulder lanes where cars could stop and check out native souvenirs offered by the locals. And that's exactly what we did. Alright guys, this is surreal. We are at the Monument Valley. This is a very famous view in many American Western movies. If you watch Forrest Gump, um, Tom Hanks was like running around this area. I can't believe I'm here! It's unbelievable. I'm so excited. Like, oh my god, I can't believe like that is the view. I am here. It's stunning. It's simply stunning. We have like Native American jewelry there. It's a Native American woman selling some jewelry. The jewelry ranged from good luck charms, like dream catchers, Coco Pelli for fertility to stunning art decor to turquoise necklaces. Um, this talking stick, what, what does it signify? Like, what is it about? So these are talking sticks. Mm. That you sit on the campfire, you know, tell you stories. Oh. Yeah. To nature stones and decorated weapons. There's a price right there. Oh, okay. okay. Wow. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's $500. Wow. Of course, it wouldn't be complete if Forrest Gump was mentioned. There were just so many gorgeous souvenirs to choose from. As we were souvenir shopping, a bike gang stopped by. Rebecca and I said hello. Finally, we said goodbye to this memorable once-in-a-lifetime experience making friends along the way. As always, we were rewarded by stunning scenic views on our drive to Arizona. Right now we're in Navajo Nation, a lot of Native Americans in this area, this is their territory. Navajo Nation isn't available for tourists for till further notice, but I guess we can stop by for the restrooms and like places like McDonald's and some fast food area. So we are in Arizona and um, we crossed the line and I did not notice and I didn't see it. It always happens to me. Uh, one interesting thing about Arizona and Utah is that the time difference is one hour. So we went one hour backwards. Um, so on our car, it's still two o'clock, but on our phone, it changed to one o'clock. Uh, that's something to note if you're traveling down, driving down from Utah to Arizona. We're in native land. Most of the people here are Native Americans. And um, it's pretty interesting to see. For tourist activities, you can't really visit any of the sites because they're closed so further notice. Um, so yeah, we're gonna keep going on.
we headed to another Moss Sea area. Initially, we wanted to visit the Antelope Canyon. It is part of Navajo Nation, which wasn't currently accepting tourists due to COVID. Today, we are heading to the Horseshoe Bend in Page, Arizona. Everything here is super sandy. It looks clay, reddish, um, but the contrast is very beautiful. I just can't wait to see it. We're actually heading now that it's around 5 p.m. Um, not many people, low foot traffic, low tourists. I think this is the best time to go. And just, just look at my view, guys. This is Page, Arizona. Just take a look at Rebecca. She's ready to rumble. She just yeah. does it all. all check. All check with the hats, with the shoes. We're twinning. Oh my, oh my. I'm so excited. This was a very easy a hike, if it's even called a hike. It was really a walk towards Hot Horseshoe Bend over there. That is the bend. You can see quite a lot of people there. Um, well, I wouldn't say quite a lot, it's quite a few people there. It is sunny though, and we do have our water ready. We have to keep staying dehydrated. Oh, look at that, that's a wedding. A wedding photo. That is so cute, I love it. This is what we came here for, the Horseshoe Bend. It is a formation caused by the continuous flow of water through the canyon walls over a billion years ago. Whoa, madre mia. The Horseshoe Bend resides above the Emerald River surface. This river is no other than the Colorado River. There are many sorts of fun water activities that take place down there. I hope you enjoyed watching our Monument Valley adventure. There were so many gorgeous attractions and fun activities that we couldn't do due to time constraints and also COVID restrictions. But that doesn't have to be the same for you. Check out our exclusive list of hot spots in the Monument Valley and Page, Arizona that you wouldn't want to miss. Next up, follow us on our adventure deep in hot Arizona is where we saw tons of cactuses, got tricked by our tour guide, and flew thousands of feet in the sky. Stay tuned. Ciao. Hasta luego.